At the TDSB, we are very proud of our French as a Second Language programs. Not only does learning a second language open a student's world to other cultures and experiences, it opens doors of opportunity, makes it easier to learn a third or fourth language, and the skills and abilities developed while learning their second language enhance the student's skills and abilities in their first language. We believe strongly that all students are capable of learning a second or third language, and so we encourage and welcome all students regardless of learning styles and linguistic background to study in our French programs. These programs are all designed for children whose families speak a language other than French at home. There is no need for the parents to speak French in the home in order for children to be successful in French as a Second Language programs. There are three ways to learn French at the TDSB. The three programs are Core French, Junior Extended French, and Early French Immersion. Core French is the program that all students in Ontario must follow. This program begins in grade four and continues throughout elementary school to grade eight. This program usually involves one period per day of French instruction of roughly 40 minutes. There is one compulsory credit in French as a Second Language at the secondary level in order for a student to earn their Ontario Secondary Schools Diploma. This compulsory credit is usually taken in Grade 9. However, many secondary schools offer Core French to the end of Grade 12. In this program, students learn about the language and Francophone cultures, as well as strategies and skills to communicate in French. There are two programs we offer that we consider intensive language programs, the Junior Extended French Program and the Early French Immersion Program. The focus of both these programs is not just learning the language, but also applying it immediately in other contexts, that is to say the subject areas, and thereby increasing students' confidence and proficiency as they learn and move through the programs. Both Junior Extended French and Early French Immersion are intensive programs in this way. In both French Immersion and Extended French, students learn the same curriculum as their counterparts in the English program, just with the language of instruction in the classroom being French during the parts of the day dedicated to French. The Early French Immersion program begins in senior kindergarten. Families apply to the program the year their child is in junior kindergarten. The program provides a 100% model of French instruction in senior kindergarten grades one, two, and three. Formal English instruction is introduced in grade four for about 20% of the day, or about 40 to 60 minutes, and it increases to 50% of the day in French and 50% of the day in English for grades six through eight. Students may continue in French immersion at the secondary level and complete a certificate of bilingual studies in French immersion based on the completion of 10 credits in French. The Junior Extended French program is available across the system to students currently in Grade 3 English and it has very strong outcomes in terms of language proficiency and academic achievement. By the end of Grade 12, students in the Junior Extended French program develop strong literacy and communication skills in French. The Junior Extended French program begins in Grade 4 and offers a half day of instruction in French and a half day in English. The subjects taught in French are French, Social Studies, and the Arts, while the subjects taught in English are English, Math, Science, and Phys Ed. At the start, teachers use a variety of strategies to bring beginning language learners along to a place where they understand all communications in French and, in a relatively short period of time, are able to respond to the teacher and peers in French. At the beginning of Grade 4, the teacher speaks entirely in French and the children respond and speak to each other in English. Partway through that first year of Grade 4, the teacher begins to encourage the children to speak to him or her in French while allowing children to speak to each other in English. Towards the end of the Grade 4 year or early in the Grade 5 year, you will hear French as the exclusive language of communication between the teacher and the students and among the students themselves, and this is how the students continue throughout their extended French career. 
Students may continue this program through grade 12 and graduate with a Certificate of Bilingual Studies in Extended French based on the completion of seven credits in French. For information and application to Extended French, please visit tdsb.on.ca slash French. The application window for Early Extended French is in January of each year. Please refer to the website in early September to be sure of the application deadlines for a given year. All applicants who apply by the deadline are guaranteed an offer of placement in the Extended French program. It is important to note that while placement in the program is guaranteed, a placement in a particular school cannot be guaranteed. Every effort is made to accommodate all applicants in the school associated with their home address. However, in some cases, there are more applications than available spaces in a given extended French school. In that case, families may be offered a placement at the next closest extended French school with available space, and a bus would be provided to families meeting the distance criteria for transportation, and the child's name would be held on a waitlist for the originally designated school. Siblings have a priority placement in the same school as their older sibling, providing that they apply on time, and the children will be in the same French program at the same school at the same time. Parents will be offered a placement via the email they have provided at the time of application. Parents must take action to accept the placement online. A non-reply will be taken as a no thank you and the space may be given away. Placements are determined based on the child's home address at the time of the application deadline. Families who move between the initial offer of placement and the start of the following school year are not guaranteed a placement in their new area school. They will be admitted there if there is space available. Once the application process is complete and all offers of placement have been made, Families will be invited by the Extended French School to come in and register their child in person. If your child is placed at an Extended French School that is more than 1.6 kilometers from your home, your child will qualify for a bus. The bus routes usually run between the Home English School and the Extended French School. It is not a door-to-door -door service. For grades 6 through 12, students are provided with TTC tickets rather than a bus, and only if they meet the distance requirements of the transportation policy. If a family chooses to access a program at a school other than the one designated for their home address, they are deemed to be optional attendance, and in that case, no transportation will be provided. For more information about the French programs and the application process, please visit tdsb.on.ca slash French. What are the benefits of extended French? Learning a second language is an advantage for students, and studies show it is a key factor in academic success. A second language enhances overall skills in learning, expands career opportunities, promotes understanding among cultures, and creates multilingual world citizens. Students' skills in the dominant language, English in this case, are often enhanced through the study of other languages. How will the children begin to speak French? Extended French teachers use a range of strategies to promote understanding without resorting to translation into English, such as using gestures, repetition, facial expressions, and visual cues like pictures. The teacher speaks French to the children 100% of the time in the periods dedicated to French instruction. At the start, the teacher will allow the children to speak to him or her and to each other in English. Slowly, the children begin to use key classroom phrases in French. The teacher will then insist that the children speak French to him or her while allowing them to speak English to each other. And finally, the children will be speaking French to the teacher and with each other. This usually happens sometimes late in grade four or early in grade five. 
From this point on, French is the exclusive language of communication inside the classroom during the times dedicated to French instruction. Will my child's learning in English be affected? Both the French Immersion and Extended French programs are successful because literacy skills transfer from one language to another. We know that students in Extended French do as well, if not better, than students in the general population on measures of English achievement, such as the EQAO testing in Grade 6 and the Ontario Literacy Test in Grade 10. What if I don't speak French at home? All French as a Second Language programs are designed for families who do not speak French at home. Families may support their children in French Immersion or Extended French in much the same way they would in the English program. It is not necessary that a parent speak French for a child to thrive in French Immersion or Extended French. I don't speak French at home. How can I help my child with homework? The TDSB homework policy states that homework may begin to take the form of written work towards the end of grade three. Once independent work begins coming home, this work is meant to be reinforcement or practice of concepts mastered already at school. With that in mind, the best way for a parent to support their child with their homework would be to demonstrate an interest in the child's schoolwork by asking questions about it, set up a space at home and a routine for homework completion, and if a child is struggling with a particular task, to let the teacher know that the child made an attempt to complete the homework but requires additional follow-up at school to master the concept. This advice would apply in both the English and the French as a Second Language programs. Is childcare offered? Information about childcare can be obtained at your extended French school at the time of registration. What if my child is not placed at the school I expected or wanted? All families who are redirected to a school other than the school associated to their home address will be held on a randomized waitlist. The waitlist remains active until the last day of school in September of the grade four year. It is important to note that over 90% of the students are placed in the school associated with their home address. How are redirections determined? Siblings of students attending the same program in the same school have priority placement at that school, provided an application is submitted on time following the same processes. If redirection to another extended French school is necessary, all the families in a given English school catchment area will be offered a space at the next closest school with extended French, and a bus will be offered to those who meet the distance criteria. Is extended French suitable for my child? The Extended French program is open to all students of grade 3 age. Research shows us that there is no such thing as an ideal candidate for intensive French programs. Teachers in French as a Second Language programs employ the same range of strategies to accommodate a wide variety of learning styles and learning needs as they would in the English program. For more information about the French programs and the application process, please visit tdsb.on.ca slash French.